And now we have some speakers to enlighten you for the day, and our first one is the 61st governor of our state of Kentucky, Governor Steve Bashir. He's in his second term, expanding access to quality health care for all Kentuckians, creating jobs in a tough economy, and improving education from preschool through post-secondary have been major accomplishments of his tenure. The governor strongly pushed for authorization for UK to spend $275 million on the revitalization of the campus, including the project we are discussing here today. He's a two-time graduate of the University of Kentucky, earning both his bachelor's and law degrees here at the state's flagship university. Please welcome the governor of the state of Kentucky, Steve Bashir. I've received many honors in my life, but this is the very first time that I have ever been introduced by the voice of the Kentucky Wildcats. Tom, thank you. You know, it's an exciting day, both for the university and for the Commonwealth of Kentucky, because there is, there's a feeling of anticipation hovering around this UK football program. We have an array of players who fight hard every game setting in stone a work ethic to be emulated. We have a new coach and coaching staff that are settling in and figuring out what this team needs to be competitive year after year in the toughest conference in the United States. We have a highly touted recruiting class on its way with the promise of many such classes in the years to come. And today, with the official unveiling of the new design for Commonwealth Stadium and the Nutter Training Facility, not to mention the ceremonial breaking of the ground for that $110 million renovation, there is a tangible physical aspect to the momentum that's building. This stadium upgrade will help ensure the continued financial success of UK football by adding suites, club suites, and other amenities that will enhance the fan experience. I was proud as governor to have supported and pushed the agency bond legislation that is making this renovation possible. It's important to note that no state funding is being used for this renovation, as UK boasts one of a handful of truly self-sustaining athletic programs in the entire country. Not only that, but we should be especially proud that the athletics program here at the University of Kentucky funds millions of dollars for academic programming and now is funding nearly two-thirds of the new $100 million science building that will be built on campus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an unprecedented partnership between athletics and academics in public higher education. And I want to salute the folks here at UK who are responsible for this visionary action, especially President Eli Capilouto and the UK Board of Trustees, Athletic Director Mitch Barnhart, and Coach Mark Stoops. Coach, we're on. Except when, uh, when I was a freshman. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. You know, uh, uh, you know, just really, really glad to be here today, and uh, you know, glad to be a part of this whole thing. And you know, I'm, I'm very proud of where this program is headed, and um, you know, just, just glad Coach Stoops is here, you know, to, to just help this program rise to the top, like I know it could be. And um, you know, I just like to say thank you, thank you to all the governor, um, government officials who come today, and um, you know, it's just. It's just really, um, really great to see how much effort's being put into this program now. You know, um, things haven't went the way that they that I was expecting things to go out my senior year. You know, didn't get the wins, haven't gotten the wins that we've wanted. You know, but um, I could definitely say that the program is making a turn for the for the good of this program. You know, I feel like the wins are going to come, and you know, it's, it's just going to slowly, it's slowly changing. You know. And these coaches, we have a great coaching staff here now, a great coaching staff, and I'm proud of what they're doing. I feel like they made me a better player this last year, and um, they're going to help me, hopefully help me move on to the next level. And, you know, I'm, I'm so glad to represent Kentucky out here today. And it's been a great experience these past four years. You know, I'm hopefully when I come back, you know, 
they'll be doing the same, you know, winning a lot of games and things like that. And, you know, just excited to be here. And sorry, we get a little nervous. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this many people to be here, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm just definitely proud. Of, I'm, I bleed blue until the day that I die. You know, I'm, I love this school and I love the community and I love the fans. And I feel like, you know, this, this is really going to be a turnaround. I'm, I, I just can't wait for the future of Kentucky, you know, and ready to go beat Tennessee this weekend. Thank you, Tom, for your introduction and kind words. Nearly one year ago, we welcomed a new leader for our collegiate football program. In as much time, Coach Stoop and his family have become part of our family. A big blue nation united. A big blue nation awakened by his enthusiasm for our university, his passion for our students, his persistence in leading a program of integrity both on and off the field. One year ago, we also talked about new investments in a football program, a renewed commitment to our fans and first to our students. Today, we replace words with action. We acknowledge the strength of our resolve to compete and succeed in college football's most competitive conference, the SEC. This project, a dramatic renewal of Commonwealth Stadium, reflects the lasting power of partnerships. Partnership between a state and its flagship university. Partnership between a university and its athletic department. Partnership between a team and its tireless and borderless fan base. We are here because the leaders of our state believe in our capacity to utilize self-generated resources to shape a promising future for our institution and through it, Kentucky. I want to thank Governor Bashir, President Stivers, Leader Overland, and the scores of lawmakers who made House Bill 7 possible. We take very seriously the faith you place in us and hope you are proud of what we've been able to accomplish together. A shared future will be bright with your continued support. I want to also thank and acknowledge Mayor Jim Gray for his continued support. While we are the state's flagship university, we are in and of the city of Lexington. My gratitude also extends to the leadership of the university, our board of trustees and our university athletics committee. And I'd like all of those members who are here today to please stand and be recognized. Athletics committee and board of trustees. Gerardo Prado. In case you're wondering, Coach Stoops and I did not get the memo to wear ties today, so, and I'm not going to use the speaker because I like to move around, but uh, I did want to take the time to thank uh, the university for selecting the team of Ross Tarn Architects and HNTB to, be, to uh, deliver this important statement. We are excited uh, to be here. Uh, this is the same team that in 1999 worked on the initial and last major renovation, and I still remember uh, the first day when I experienced uh, Kentucky football, that's September 4th date in 1999 and I remember where I sat and as a young designer coming to the university I was hoping to walk around the stadium and see how your fans reacted see what they said and I was particularly interested in hearing how excited they were about the architecture and the look of the stadium and I never heard that as I rode back in the shuttle uh, I overheard two ladies talking so I leaned over and one of them said did you see those bathrooms they were unbelievable they were clean and there were no lines and right there and then I realized that these projects are more about the architecture and giving uh, stadium character they're about the fans that experience that on day in and day out and I wanted to give you a glimpse of what you're going to see when fans arrive on September 5th 2015 so Let's look, walk through some of the planned renovations for the state. One of the first things when we first met with the university leadership, one of the primary goals was that the project needed to impact as many fans as possible. It went, 